Hello, welcome to the Casual Commons, where we're all common people casually trying to save some money and make the world a bit more sustainable while we're at it. So about six months ago, I made a video about me trying to not buy clothes for 2020. And I started the challenge officially in March, but I also wanted to include all my purchases made from January to March and also the holiday season like beforehand. So in 2019, I figured with quarantine happening, it just made sense to like not buy stuff to save money because I didn't really know how stable my job was gonna be through, you know, the pandemic and to save on storage space because I was moving soon and to like help the environment by not introducing more demand for stuff that I didn't really need. I'm not usually one to shop and buy like excessively, but if I see a good deal on something I've been wanting for a while or if I know it'll fit in my wardrobe, I will um, not jump, I will pounce on getting that deal. So as a reminder, if you haven't seen my previous video for when I like started doing this challenge, I set like a few ground rules for the 2020 challenge. If I need a new office wear uh, or like underwear or socks or whatever, like very intimate clothing, I could buy them new because like, one, I need to look presentable so like I can buy like new office items if, if you know, I thought that, you know, maybe we would be back in the office um, after the summer, but obviously we're not there. And there's no secondhand market for, you know, intimate items like your underwear and loungewear and socks. And then secondly, if I wanted to upgrade my core wardrobe, if I wanted to like buy anything new for that, I'd have to jump up in quality. So the idea is um, I would think twice about replacing the item or upgrading it and if I do go through with the purchase, the new item should last me longer than the previous item did. And by core wardrobe, I mean like my basic tees, my like light and like dark shorts, and then my light and dark jeans. So it really, it's like, what, 10 items for my core wardrobe. And then finally, if I wanted something fun, like patterns or colors or like jerseys or just things not, you know, you would include in like a capsule wardrobe, I would have to buy them secondhand. I could not get it new. So let me show you what I got for all of my purchases in 2020 that were clothing related. I'll go through it chronologically, kind of explain my reasoning for purchasing each thing. And at the end, we'll see how I did or how I felt I did. So my first purchase was back in Texas, back in like the 2019, 2020 holiday season, I got a, like a flannel shirt, a light techie jacket, and a dark or like a black long sleeve shirt. I didn't film that in the video because I forgot to pull it out. I think overall it was a pretty bad purchase. Like this was before I started the challenge, but even then, like I kind of knew that these weren't good quality items. And the only reason why I bought them was because they were on sale, like they were on clearance. So I am a little disappointed that, you know, I could have held on to that money and like bought something of better quality rather than like buying several items that aren't of great quality, but since I do have them, I will wear them and I will get my use out of them. Then in January, February-ish, I got new work shoes. So before this purchase, I really only had one pair of like black work shoes that I would wear basically every day. And they're great, I love them so much. And they're still holding on very well, but they're like four years old. I've worn them basically since like college for, you know, interviewing purposes all the way through my internship and then all the way through like my first two years of working. So I just thought, you know, maybe I should have a couple extra pairs on hand just in case, you know, one day I run in those shoes and like they just disintegrate and I need shoes for the next day of work. So I went ahead and bought two pairs of work shoes, one black, one brown, and then I bought a pair of loafers, which as you can see, the loafers aren't even worn yet. I thought, you know, they were on sale. So I thought maybe I'll wear them in the spring and summer when, you know, it's like casual Fridays or if we're doing like, you know, brunch in the city, like that sounds fun. And I've always kind of wanted to incorporate loafers into my wardrobe. So, you know, with the loafers being on sale, I was like, you know, maybe we'll try this out. And if I like it in the future, I could buy better ones. And if I didn't like it, it w I didn't spend that much. So it was fine either way. So I would give this purchase probably like a thumbs up, you know, like because the pandemic hit, we are not going to the office. So like, I really didn't get much use out of them. But I think the idea was pretty correct because like they are good quality and like the black ones are very good quality. So, you know, once we're working again, I can still use them. Like it's not going to be outdated or anything. So pretty good purchase. And then while I bought those shoes, I also got over the thigh socks because I, I have like a lot of work socks, but they really slip off like into my ankles when I'm not wearing like a shirt stay that like pulls on my shirt and pulls on my socks. And they're kind of annoying to like pull up all the time. So I just thought, hey, maybe we'll get some over the thigh socks, which 
highly, highly, highly recommend because in the winter, they'll keep you warm and they stay all the way up. So like you're not, you know, fumbling around with your socks all the time. So like same story with the shoes and everything. Like once the work from home hit, I didn't really get much use out of them, but whatever. I think this was a really good purchase and I really enjoy over the thigh socks for um, going to the office. Then in March, when everything shut down, I decided to get five new lounge shorts. My previous shorts, I only had like three or four that I would wear usually. And they were all like eight years old. They all had holes in them. And I desperately needed to get new pairs if I was going to be wearing my lounge shorts like every day throughout the whole day. Because before then, I would basically just wear my lounge shorts for, for bed. And then in the morning, I would change to go to work, obviously, right? But then now that we're we're all working from home i'm wearing these things like the entire day and then through the night so um i definitely needed new shorts so i bought five like expensive for me shorts i basically just thought of it as you know money i would spend on work clothing anyway and you know because i'm working from home this is now my work clothing so i went ahead and just bought five pairs from nice laundry and i love these shorts they probably the best purchase i made last year for like everything not even just clothes and now i am living my best life in my lounge shorts and then after i got those shorts i was like hey maybe i'll try some more products from this company and i, I saw that they had socks and it was like you know like all my socks are my athleisure socks are kind of old and i maybe should replace them with a line of socks that like all look the same so i went ahead and did that for like normal athleisure socks like athletic socks and no show socks and while i think this was a good purchase it was not great because the quality is just not there and to be fair like it's not super expensive for like a six pack but after like a month or two of wearing them and like washing them i started noticing like wear and tear which to be fair is like normal for socks like there aren't a lot of athletic i guess like techie cool socks on the market that will last but i feel like the durability is just comparable to something you would get at you know your local athletic store so it's not it wasn't anything special and then finally i got two new things i added to my wardrobe but i didn't buy them which brings me to my next point which is shopping from what you already have i think it, it sounds weird but i feel like younger millennials and older gen z's will relate to this so over the winter i went back to texas where i'm originally from to see family and just quarantine there instead of by myself in new york and while i was there i was hoping to do like a declutter my childhood bedroom video but it really didn't turn out the way i wanted it to so i kind of scrapped that but part of it was me looking through my old closet and seeing what i could throw out so basically i just did like a quick pass at my closet and you know, picked out some things I really wanted to bring back to New York with me, which one being this I Need My Space NASA hat that I got from Etsy a few years ago, and then my Red Sox jersey. I originally left them at home back in Texas because I didn't think that they would fit in like a day-to-day -day wardrobe for me in New York, but I feel like they're kind of fun for like weekend wear to the park or like to the beach or like if I'm doing like a day trip anywhere. And I plan on wearing them for that purpose when it's, you know, safe to travel again. So what I mean by shopping from what you already have is basically if you have clothing storage in other places whether it's at home or like in your attic or basement or in your suitcase somewhere maybe look through those first before you decide to buy new or to buy like secondhand because like like there were a lot of stuff that like i would still wear in my wardrobe but you know i just don't have the space to bring them all back to new york so like it's just a fun activity you're you're not introducing any new waste into the system you're using and like wearing out your clothes for like what they were intended to be used for and like you might discover that you know you aren't going to wear any of those clothes and like you need to give them away which was what i found out i was just too overwhelmed i didn't have enough time to like go through my closet but now like looking back on the footage that is on my priority to-do list so 2020 review i think i will give myself like a four out of five out of five um i think all of my purchases were justified or i needed them or it was something i've been waiting for a while to purchase the one purchase that like really killed it for the, the challenge was my first purchase back in texas over the holidays like i know that it wasn't part of the challenge because I didn't commit to this until March, but I already knew that they were below my standards. I knew that they weren't great quality. They probably wouldn't last long and I would be much happier buying or like saving that money and buying a better item with that rather than buying many cheaper items. But like I still jumped because it was on sale and it was like really cheap. So that purchase still stings and therefore i can't give myself a five out of five anyway moving on to 2021 i will still be attempting this challenge because i really truly 
don't need anything new. I have everything that I really need for my lifestyle at this point in my life, so there's just no need for me to buy anything new. So I think it'll be fun to continue this challenge into 2021. It's also going to be a clean run from the beginning of January all the way to the end of December, which my like over-organized brain and like that likes to compartmentalize things like really, really enjoys. So the rules are pretty much the same as before. If I need anything that is like a necessity, like work clothes, intimate clothing, or like weatherproofing clothing, like, you know, jackets or rain boots if I need it, those will be okay to buy new. So will my core basic wardrobe of like plain shirts, uh, plain tees, plain shorts, plain pants. Those are fine to buy new. But what I will try to do is challenge myself to upgrade them to the next level, whether it's like in sustainability or quality, so it'll last longer and have a better impact on the planet. So for example, I get my t-shirts from Banana Republic for like 17 to $20 on sale, which I only ever buy from them on sale, by the way. But if I wanted to buy a new basic tee, I'd have to jump up a level to Patagonia, which goes for double the price and is a lot higher quality. So like this will hopefully make me think twice about wanting to replace my items. And also if I do replace them, like go through with the purchase, my new items will last me much longer than you know, what I already have. Anything fun, you know, like patterns, colors, etc., will have to be bought secondhand, period. There are no exceptions to this rule. I already have a lot of like very casual fun shirts and I don't wear them in my regular rotation much anyway. So I just have a lot already. I don't need any more. So 2021 20, predictions. I think I'm going to be very successful. I really will try to not buy anything new or add in, into my wardrobe at all because I have everything I need. Like there really is no point to buying anything new. However, if I had to like make a couple of predictions, I think where I will perhaps buy some things would be for work pants or if Patagonia is like doing a sale. So for work pants, I've been looking at the Ministry of Supply pants for a while because they're like comfortable, they're super stretchy, you can like wash them in the washer and they're high quality, but they've always just been out of my price point. Like I'm not about to spend a hundred something or maybe $200 for a pair of pants when I could buy three or four at Banana Republic and have like a rotation for the week. But now that I can afford it and it makes sense to upgrade my wardrobe, you know, if we start going back to the office and I need an extra pair of pants or two, I may pull the trigger. And I'm a very big fan of Patagonia, but they've just always been at my price point, especially when I was building my basic wardrobe. And like, I truly don't need anything, but if I do see something on sale that I've been wanting, I also may pull the trigger. Well, that's it. Thank you as always for watching. I will probably do an updated video at the end of December this year to recap my whole 2021 challenge. So if you'd like to see that, make sure you're subscribed, but like you already knew that, like you're just really smart, right? Like you knew that. Anyway, bye.